Hi, it's Justin again. This time I wanted to show you guys how I make my, oh there was Layla, you hear her in the background. How I make my homemade dishwashing detergent. I'm not showing you the brand. This is the capsule method you pop into the dishwashing detergent. Uh, some people say that they are safer nowadays. Uh, this is not a, I'm not going to de debate that. Um, there's smarter people in the world that can figure out whether these things are safe or not. So why I make my own one uh, is, yeah, I, I'm kind of concerned about what washes our dishes because we drink with them and we eat with them and stuff. But I also uh, noticed that, again, we have the common culprits that help with uh, homemade dishwashing. In other words, if you keep these items around, you're going to be able to do a lot of things with household cleaning, such as uh, dishwashing. So, uh, and, and of course, I'm not going to comment on saving water, right? We all get lazy. The most efficient water method for saving water is to, to hand wash. But, hey, I get lazy and I, I want to use the dishwasher. So, how do I do this? Well, first off, you got to store this. At, this is the biggest thing. Pick a storage uh, a good sealable storage for this. I'll tell you why. One of the main ingredients uh, does not like humidity. So if you're if you're living in a hot humid environment, uh, you definitely need to seal this bad boy up once we make it. Now again, uh, if I didn't say this up front, I am actually making a a powder version, right? This is just a granulated powder version. And the way I put that in the dishwasher is I just take one of these a coffee, it's actually a coffee scooper, and I just scoop the powder into my dishwasher. I can show you that later. So we're making a powder version. We do have to think about sealing it up, and obviously putting it in a safe location uh, that dogs don't eat it or kids don't get a hold of it. Uh, one of the big things to, that can help keeping it dry uh, is I found these little medicine capsules. Um, if you get medicine from a pharmacy or uh, if you take vitamins or something, sometimes they come with these little dehumidifier, de um, moisture repelling capsules. And I often wonder what, what else could these things be used for? Well, I just drop a couple of those into this jar and they keep the powder from, from clumping up. Uh, again, this has uh, got some ingredients in it that clump up if they are, get exposed to moisture, so that helps. Other people uh, use rice instead of these little capsules, so you could just use rice. Um, but we, we had a lot of the medicine capsules, so I just used those. All right, what are the ingredients? The first one is a magic ingredient that you typically would not see. It's citric acid. Now, this is one of the, the rarer ingredients. The rest of them are normal. I got this all online from a big uh, wholesale manufacturer. I think it was $20 for this whole thing, and it's lasted me more than a year. Um, why do you need this? This really helps with the spotting on glassware. Uh, we've got hard water here, so if you've got hard water problems, this citric acid will really help getting spot-free glassware. Another ingredient that's, that will help with that is very common, and that's just regular table salt. Uh, this is iodized table salt. It's got iodine in it. Um, you don't have to have that. I just use it because it's what we got around. Uh, the salt, by the way, is uh, one of the most naturally occurring water softeners. Who knew? So this also helps with softening hard water, and it acts as a kind of like an abrasive to uh, bounce around uh, when the dishwasher is running to help scrub things. So that's, that's a pretty common household ingredient. Two ingredients that uh, are pretty common that you'll find in any grocery store that we're going to use are uh, borax and washing soda. Now let me just clarify about borax. There's been a lot of debate about this. This is not boric acid. Uh, boric acid I have used. Again, you want to keep that in a safe place. It's an insecticide. I use it for. I had used it for an ant invasion. This is borax. It's formulated differently. I'm not saying go and drink a glass of it, but this is not boric acid. There's some confusion around that. This is in the laundry aisle of most grocery stores. Uh, so just look for it there. Again, this this is usually lasts a year, based on how much you use your dishwasher. The other one is washing soda. We've probably all seen this. This is also on your laundry aisle. Washing soda is formulated differently than baking soda, although some people say that they use baking soda instead. But I stick to this. It's got some, some help in washing and, again, some help with hard water. All right. Now, other tools that you need are a measuring cup, a bowl to mix in, and just something to just mix it all up like this. 
Oh, uh, whisk. All right, so I've actually already got the citric acid in here. This is, this is it, here's the magic ratio. This is just ratios. It's one part citric acid, two parts borax, two parts washing soda, and one to two parts salt. I use two parts salt, I made a lot of salt, because of how hard our water is. Um, already, already dished out the citric acid. Two parts washing soda. You'll notice this is a little, not as finely granulated as baking soda. If you ever mix the two up, this is a little rougher. Two parts washing soda and two parts borax. Again, just, I mean, I'm not being perfect. I'm just getting ratios here. All right. Take this, mix it all together. Get, some, get as many of the clumps out as possible. And it just looks like a big mealy granulated sugar thing. <coughs> it will get dusty because of the citric acid. <laughs> so if that aggravates you, put on a mask. I have found that's the only way to get really get away from the dust is a mask. Now, I am not using dishwashing liquid in this. That's it. So now I somehow get this into this container. Quantity-wise, if you're curious, that was uh, filling up a one-liter jar. Okay, shake it up a little bit so that those um, moisture capsules get around everywhere. Keep the seal on, and then let's go over to the dishwasher. Hi there, Justin and Rocky back. Rocky decided to join us on this video because uh, he likes to be right next to the dishwasher in case there's dirty dishes in there. He is my pre-washer. If you have dogs, they are excellent pre-washers. Besides, it's going to get washed by the dishwasher after they're done anyway, so no biggie there on what's on their tongue. All right, how do we get, let's make sure you can see this, how do we get what we just created, our homemade dishwashing powder, into here, and do we need anything else? All right, well, the simple answer is you just unscrew this guy, whatever container you used. You will have probably two fill lines Again, I don't want him getting close to this, but he usually doesn't want You can see how fine it is. It's very easy to get in there with this coffee scooper that I have. So I just fill that up. That's the standard wash. That gets distributed uh, in the normal wash cycle. If you have hard water like me, I found it's beneficial to add the powder, one scoop of it or so, into the pre-wash container. Depending on your dishwasher, you may have different... These may be in different locations, but main wash, pre-wash, I fill them up, okay? I'm not worried about how much powder I put in there because this stuff is so cheap. There's one other ingredient, this is one other step. This is our rinse aid. Rinse aid itself, you can wonder what in the world is in that liquid ingredient. Well, I put a very natural ingredient, right? tried and true, white vinegar. So there's some people back and forth who say different things about the vinegar. Uh, they say it ruins the rubber gaskets and all kinds of stuff. Actually, mine was already full. You can see that I think it's not draining down, so it's actually going to overfill when I fill this up. Yeah, it squirted out because it's already full. I just wanted to demonstrate to you that I put vinegar as the rinse aid. Uh, back to the conversation about whether the vinegar is harming the gaskets and stuff. Well, by the time you need to get to replacing gaskets on a dishwasher, the amount of vinegar that it's going to dispense, my bet is it's not going to play a big role. Layla, be quiet. It's not going to play a big role. In my opinion, I've, I've not had any problems. I've been doing this for a couple of years now. So, uh, you know, and it's just gaskets anyway. So they're going, to, they're going to be replaced anyway. These are the gaskets. All right, so vinegar in the rinse aid. Uh, full powder in the container for the detergent, 
And then, now finally, what kind of rinse cycle? Um, you have different options based on your dishwasher, but I'll tell you which ones I use. I turn on the cycles. There's different ones here. There's sensor, heavy, and I just enable the sensor one. It has a sensor in there that detects how dirty the water is, so it can automatically shut off. But I do use, I don't know why that's on, I do use the hot temp wash. Nothing else. This is what I use. Uh, the sensor, sorry, you couldn't see sensor. The sensor with the high temp wash. High temp because we need to get that temperature up so that it, uh, the, the water softener, the national water softener is in there so the salt and the washing soda can help soften the water so it won't splotch up on the dishes. So that's why I use these two. You can try out different ones. I had limited success with like Sani Rinse. Uh, it's supposed to do an extra cycle of uh, glassware, uh, but I had limited success on that. Uh, you could try uh, heat it dry as well if you think it's splotching up too much by by air drying. Some people say to do that, uh, that the air drying splotches things up. But quite frankly, the high temperature and the sensor does me just fine. It's going to take two and a quarter, three quarter hours to get done. Okay, so that's the magic of the uh, homemade dishwasher. If you have any pointers, definitely let me know, guys. Uh, uh, happy to get input. All right, till next time. Bye.